all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to be a very quick yes or no answer to whatever question you would like to ask. That means no situation cards, just the transparent tarot with a quick yes or no. Please remember, this is a general reading. Lots of people and lots of questions. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you'd like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at terrysinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's quick yes or no reading, we are going to have reading number one with the aquamarine, reading number two with the rhodochrosite, reading number three with the morganite, reading number four with the moonstone, and reading number five with the clear quartz. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition is not going to lead you wrong. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings now. So I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number one with the aquamarine. The properties of aquamarine are safe travels, exploration, and renewal. Those things may have some bearing on your question, or they may just resonate with you in general. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number one, please answer their question, yes or no, clearly through the transparent tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right, so we start with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups talks about um, not really seeing what's right in front of you or looking at things the way you wish they were versus the way they actually are. So um, really making sure to open your eyes to what's going on in front of you and the reality of it is going to be important. Next, we see the chariot. The chariot talks about forward motion through your strength, your determination, your drive. However, there may be a blockage that you're dealing with here because in this deck, the horses are not moving. So there may be a blockage that needs to be removed for you to get that forward motion. Next, we see the emperor. The emperor talks about you making your decisions that lead you down the path you want to go down. It reminds you that you are in charge in your realm. You're in charge of your life and your path, and you can make the decisions that take you down the path you want to go down. Next, we see the priestess. The priestess talks about your intuition. There's lots of major arcana here, guys. Um, so maybe asking major questions or just in a real significant time period in your life with all this uh, major arcana coming out in your reading. The priestess talks about intuition. It says your intuition is guiding you forward and you should pay attention to your intuition, kind of a heightened connection to your guides right now. Um, and your guides are going to help you make those decisions you need to make. Next, we see the King of Wands. The King of Wands can represent a person. If it does, this person's energy very, very passionate. It can also say that it's a good time to step into writing a book or making art or making music or, um, you know, 
just yeah, painting, making sculptures, whatever it is, being creative, whatever it is that you're passionate about, that you're creative in, this is a good time. People are going to be attracted to that energy. Topping everything off, we have the Eight of Cups, which talks about letting go, letting whatever ending is happening happen so that you can step into something even better after the ending is over. So an ending that brings in something better than whatever ended. All right, so looking at this as a yes or no, I feel like there may be some blockage going on in here, but if you remove the blockage, the answer to your question does appear to be yes. Make your decisions, follow your intuition, let go of what needs to be let go of, clear blockages, so there's a lot of work to do, but it looks like the answer is most likely yes. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number two with the Rotocrosite. The properties of rhodochrosite are love, compassion, and sincerity. Those things may have some bearing on your question, or they may just resonate with you in general. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number two, please, please answer their questions clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right, here we go. Okay, so we start with the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles talks about abundance, a significant period of abundance going on right now, or you're getting ready to step into it. Next, we see the Four of Swords. That talks about needing to get some rest, needing to take care of you, needing to pay attention to your needs on the physical level, um, as well as the spiritual, but mostly on the physical level, getting some rest. Next, we see death. Death talks about an ending. It's over, it's finished, it brings in a new beginning. So the completion of something where it ends and a new beginning following. Next, we see the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords talks about worry. Worrying about your work life, your home life, worry of some kind that is significant, a significant fear or worry system. Don't get bogged down in worry. If you're worrying about tomorrow, tomorrow's not here yet, it's not set, don't worry about tomorrow. Stay in the moment. Don't let worry steal your time in the now. And then topping everything off, we have the chariot. The chariot talks about forward motion, things moving forward. There's a new beginning in the death card that um, happens after the ending. So there is a new beginning for you to get on to. And the chariot talks about your drive taking you forward into this new beginning. However, in this deck, the horses are stationary. They're still. So there's probably a blockage that needs to be removed. With death and the Five of Swords and the need for rest and the blockage going on in the chariot, I feel like the answer to your question is most likely no. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number three with the Morganite. The properties of Morganite are compassion, renewal, and love. Those things may have some bearing on your question or they may just resonate with you in general. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number three. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
All right, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, let's see here. One more shuffle like this. There we go. Okay, we'll get this to hold the cards. All right, so we start with the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords talks about an ending. It's over, it's done, it's finished. It can leave you feeling betrayed or stabbed in the back. Um, so a very significant finished, finished ending. Next, we see the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles can represent a person. If it does, this is the person that wants to take care of everyone or at least someone wants to be the person that gets called when there's a problem so that they can help and and take care of it it also represents abundance next we see the king of swords the king of swords can also represent a person if it does this person very action oriented highly intelligent um really cuts to the chase very direct very strategic it can also represent some significant challenges going on in your life um, your strategy can get you through it. You can, you're smart enough. You can strategize your way through it for sure, but it is some significant challenges presenting themselves to you. Next, we see the seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles talks about abundance. Um, it says that you've planted the seeds for your abundance. You have to be patient and let everything come to fruition. The universe is moving at its own speed. Your abundance will come in, but you've got to be patient for it. Next, we see the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords talks about paying attention to details. So if you're thinking about making a large purchase or something like that, pay attention to that contract you're signing. Be aware and pay attention to the details of what you're doing in your life around you. This can also talk about watching and looking and um, you know paying attention to someone, maybe on social media. It could be you paying attention to someone else or someone else paying attention to you. And then topping everything off, we have the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands talks about fighting, arguing, fighting, controversy. Um, sometimes it's fighting for what you want, but more often than not, it is you know arguing and, and you know fights of that nature. All right. So looking at this as a yes or no, this leans more towards no. I feel like the answer to your question is most likely no. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number four with the Moonstone. The properties of Moonstone are peace, travel, and balance. Those things may have some bearing on your question or they may just resonate with you in general. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no to the questions of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Oh, there we go, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay, we start with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles talks about generosity, sharing what you have with others. It's probably your energy, although it could be the energy of someone in your realm, but the person represented by the Queen of Pentacles is very generous. She shares what she has. She doesn't have to be abundant, but she can be. Next, we see the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is victory. It is celebrating your victory, um, having victories to celebrate. Next, we see the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles talks about making decisions with your money. Um, it could signify that you guys have been kind of struggling a little bit financially. 
and are having to figure out how you're going to pay your bills. The good news is that is followed immediately by the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords talks about challenges that you're facing in your life right now, and it says that they're not going to last that long. You're going to overcome them. You're going to get past them. It's You're going to get there, and it's not that much longer. And then topping everything off, we have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups can represent moving into a new home. It represents very peaceful home life energy, having a happy, peaceful home life. All right, looking at this, looks like there's some challenges materially for you guys a little bit, but those are coming to an end. You're gonna be celebrating your victory very soon and maybe even moving. So it looks like the answer to your question is most likely yes. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number five with the clear quartz. The properties of clear quartz are energy, purpose, and motivation. Those things may have some bearing on your question, or they may just resonate with you in general. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no for the questions of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, there we go. That's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. Oh, I knocked that just a little bit. There we go, okay. All right, so we start with the Empress. The Empress talks about having stable material foundations, putting down roots, and it can represent motherhood. Next, we see the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles says that there's opportunity in the material realm out in front of you. Now, it's pretty slow moving, so it's a little ways out in front of you. You're going to have to be patient, but there's going to be an opportunity present itself um, from the material side of things. Next, we see the chariot. The chariot talks about your forward motion through your drive, your um, desire, your energy, moving things forward. Now, in this deck, the chariot looks stationary. So there may be a blockage keeping you from moving forward, but once you clear it, you're going to just excel. Next, we have the page of wands. The page of wands talks about reconnecting to your passions. These could be creative passions, romantic passions, but reconnecting to a passion level in your life. And, and topping everything off, we see the six of wands. That is you celebrating your victory, you being victorious. So I feel like you do clear whatever blockage there might be with regards to your forward motion, and you get to celebrate that victory. All right, looking at this as a yes or no, this is pretty clearly a yes to whatever you ask Tarot. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.